The liver weighs about three pounds and it's the largest organ of the body. It performs over 500 different physiological functions. It detoxifies harmful chemicals from the body. It stores sugar for energy and it helps to manufacture proteins, vitamins, and minerals. It helps to clot the blood and it produces immune factors so we don't get sick and it helps to make red blood cells and iron. And so my symptoms are many. I have extreme mental and physical fatigue. I've had hair loss, um, insomnia, low red and white blood cell count that causes a weak immune weak immune system. My blood doesn't clot very well. Um, I've had nosebleeds and itching, rashes, red and swollen eyes, fluid buildup. Um, it's hard to think clearly because the liver detoxifies ammonia from the blood which the digestive system produces. So you can see there that there are a lot of symptoms associated with liver failure. Um, the main thing that the Regenerative Medicine Institute um, claims is that half a cup of adipose stem cells reach the therapeutic threshold and that patients typically see results after two to three weeks. The first six weeks, I did notice a slight increase in energy and stamina. However, those effects wore off, and I'm the same now as I was before the stem cells. So, um, obviously, the amount that I received did not reach this therapeutic threshold. And Dr. Perez says that it takes at least 50 million stem cells um, to reach this therapeutic threshold for common diseases. Since I received 155 million stem cells, Dr. Jesus Perez reassured me many times that this would be sufficient to regenerate my liver and also take care of an autoimmune disease that I have. My MELD score, which is a scoring system for liver transplant patients, was 14 points before I received stem cells on October the 11th of 2011. And my MELD score is still the same. It's still 14. And this MILD score is based on blood tests, so it's very accurate. So obviously, the amount of stem cells I received did not reach the therapeutic threshold. And Dr. Perez says, said last year that all of their patients up to that point, which were well over 30, um, showed marked improvement. This is very misleading because marked improvement can have many different meanings. Does Dr. Perez mean that they improved by 25%, by 50%, or by 80%? We really don't know. And why did Dr. Jesus Perez build my confidence and hope by telling me that I had a better chance at regenerating my liver than their COPD patients. And why did he tell me that the stem cells would take care of my autoimmune disease and my cirrhosis at the same time? These are the questions that I still have for the Regenerative Medicine Institute.